Going to prison can be one of life's most terrifying experiences. Between incarceration and the aggression and violence that occurs on the inside among jailers, what about being imprisoned as a child? Depending on the severity of their cases, some children are transferred to juvenile detention centers, while others are transferred to full-fledged adult prisons. The truth is that prisons make no distinction based on age. So, without any further delay, here is a list of 10 kids who went to jail for crazy reasons. Starting from number 10, Evan Miller. Evan Miller and his friend Colby Smith had gone to rob Cole Cannon, Miller's next door neighbor. The old man awoke when he returned Mr. Cannon's wallet. Colby Smith then hit the man with a baseball bat. Evan Miller then brutally beat Mr. Cannon to death. Judge Mark Craig read a portion of Miller's testimony about the night of the murder during his resentencing. Cole, I am God and I've come to take your life, it said. The judge described those words as chilling. Miller was resentenced to life without the possibility of parole on April 27, 2021, making him the youngest person in Alabama to serve a mandatory life sentence. At the time of the murder in 2003, Evan Miller was only 14 years old. Number 9. Leonard Shockley Leonard Shockley, 16, and his brother Harold, 22, were cash-trapped and eager to make a quick buck in Boxhorn, Maryland on the afternoon of January 16, 1958. Because they believed she would be alone, the two decided to rob a local general store owned and operated by 39-year-old Sarah Hearn. Their hypothesis was correct. When the brothers entered the store, they launched a vicious assault on the helpless mother of three. Leonard thrust a large hunting knife into the back of the woman he had grown to know over the years. He repeatedly stabbed her before slitting her throat. Clarence Bishop, a customer, arrived moments later only to flee in terror. Bishop, a well-known African-American in the community, described the Shockleys and their vehicle. Despite the fact that the brothers were black, the police received the best leads from the black community, which harbored deep resentment towards the murderers of a white woman they had grown to admire. Harold was eventually sentenced to life in prison, and on April 10, 1959, Leonard found himself in a Maryland gas chamber. Number 8. Joe Persons Joe Persons, 13, of Butts County, Georgia, raped and murdered an 8-year-old girl whose name had been withheld from the press on June 14, 1915. The crime was described as so heinous that the young boy's father petitioned for his son's execution. Persons was led from his cell to the prison courtyard where the gallows awaited. According to newspaper archives from September 26, 1915, the immature and underdeveloped persons weighed only 29 kilograms, and local officials debated adding weights to his body to ensure a successful execution. Other than the fact that persons paid with his life on that ominous autumn day, the events that followed are unclear. Number 7. Daniel Bartlam Daniel Bartlam is a convicted murderer from Nottingham in the United Kingdom. The media frequently refers to him as the Coronation Street Killer because he was inspired to commit his crime by an episode of the ITV soap opera Coronation Street. Daniel exhibited disturbing and troubling behaviors, such as defecating and hiding his feces throughout his room. He also wrote violent stories, which he would read to his mother and her boyfriend. Daniel bludgeoned his mother to death while she slept on Easter in April 2011. When he was 14 years old, he then set fire to the house, but not before helping his younger brother and the family dog escape. He initially claimed that a thieving burglar had harmed his mother and set fire to the house. However, while searching through his computer, investigators discovered evidence that he was searching for things like how to get away with murder and other related topics. He was arrested and tried right away. Daniel Bartlam received a 16-year sentence in a juvenile detention facility. Number 6. Lionel Alexander Tate Lionel Alexander Tate was only 12 years old when he murdered Tiffany Eunuch, a 6-year-old girl. Tate claimed he was playing with the girl when she suddenly stopped breathing. When the young girl hit her head on a nearby table, he claimed he had her in a headlock. The girl had multiple serious bruises, including a lacerated liver, according to forensics. Number 5. Anton Wood 
On November 2nd, 1892, Anton Wood was showing a wealthy businessman, Joseph Smith, a great hunting ground. On their way, the boy noticed the man's gold watch and gun. He coveted the items. While they were walking, Wood moved behind the man and shot him dead. At the time, Anton Wood was only 11 years old. Number 4. Dantes Tillman At the time of his crime, Dantes Tillman was 14 years old, 2 months and 25 days old. He and a group of teenagers assaulted Wilford Hamilton, a homeless man. Tillman and his best friend, Thomas McLeod, were both charged with the murder in the death of the homeless man, who died a week after the attack. Tillman claimed that after only two years in prison, he was enraged not by the police, prosecution, or even the judge, but by the courtroom itself. Number 3. Mary Bell Mary Bell is the youngest person to ever go to jail. She committed her first murder when she was 10 years old in 1968. Both of her murders were carried out on preschool boys, who were strangled by Bell. She told her victims they had sore throats and that she would massage them before killing them. Number 2. Scott Hain Scott Hain, 17, and Robert Wayne Lambert, 21, abducted Michael Houghton and Laura Sanders outside a Tulsa, Oklahoma bar. After being robbed of $565, the two restaurant co-workers were forced into a car trunk and burned alive. Hain and Lambert returned hours later to examine the charred remains of their innocent victims. The two ruthless killers were sentenced to death for their crimes. And finally at number 1, Virginia Christian. Virginia Christian was sentenced to death by electric chair on August 16, 1912 for the murder of her employer, Ida Bellotti, after being accused of stealing a gold locket. Christian, the 16-year-old servant, would become Virginia's first and only female executed by the electric chair. Jim Crow legislation and racial purity laws were in effect at the time, fueling anti-black sentiment even further. African Americans were portrayed in the press as subhuman savages. To avoid mob violence, Christian's trial was rushed, and she was sentenced to death by electric chair a day after her 17th birthday. So that's the end of the video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and press the notification bell so you never miss out on our next videos. Until the next video, take care.